What's going on guys, we're back with a brand new video and today we're talking about Blake Griffin of the Brooklyn Nets. So Blake Griffin has had a absolutely horrible season this year and it's, it's just been bad. He's been worse than an average NBA player. If you look at his advanced stats, guys, it's been bad. His value of a replacement player is a negative 0.2. So that means out of every player in the NBA, he is on the lower end he's not a above average nba player anymore now he's a below average last season he was a positive 0.4 so he was over a average player and if you look at his net his box plus minus his bpm box plus minus it is a negative four that's horrible and he's an average defender but he is a negative four offensive box plus minus that is just so bad he is really really struggling this season especially offensively obviously because he's only averaging 5.5 points a game right now 5.5 and five rebounds and two assists half a block half a steal and half a turnover and that's very very bad his three point percentage only 16 percent from three when throughout his career he's been 33 percent and last season he shot 38 and a half percent throughout uh throughout 26 games with the nets he's shooting 16 percent right now and his field goal percentage is really really bad as well it's 31 and a half percent from the field throughout his career he shot 49 and a half percent it i'm sure it was 50 percent before this season he's played 17 games started all 17 but in the last two games he has not played a single minute and um so he he started every game he's played but he did not play in the past two games he is 32 years old so technically he's getting older but he should have like two more good years probably um he did miss his full rookie year though with like a knee injury he's had a ton of injuries throughout his career so he probably won't have as long of his career a career as most i'm sure that this is probably a pretty good sign that he is to either like potentially the last year or one of the last years of his nba career uh, with th how things are looking right now this is definitely one of the last years of his nba career if he stays on track like this kind of looking like how deandre jordan started to look for the nets last season at the end of last season it's bad it's very very bad um, playing power forward for them has played some center as well in the starting lineup they also have Lamarcus aldridge nick claxton and paul Millsap at those positions who paul Millsap, i believe isn't even doing very good either uh, i will check that while i'm talking but really they have Lamarcus aldridge and nick claxton because like i said i don't think paul Millsap is playing the absolute greatest um but we could go through their team and check that out so Paul Millsap is averaging three points a game. Yeah, he's barely, barely, barely playing at all. Um, this is kind of weird. I don't know why his... Okay, there we go. His basketball reference was glitched out. Yeah, he's averaging three points a game in only 11 minutes a game. Blake Griffin is getting way more minutes than that with 22 minutes a game and, like I said, five and a half points a game. So Paul Millsap is definitely averaging more per like the amount of time that he's playing and then if we look at let's look at nick claxton nicholas claxton in his third year in the nba wow i didn't know it was his third year i thought it was his second maybe oh yeah that's right he wasn't very good his rookie rookie year so he's played four games so far why has he only played four games what's his injury uh he's got an illness and he's gonna need another two weeks to recover so he probably is covid um, he's averaging six and a half points a game in 19 minutes a game, started three games. So he started every, all the games, like three out of the four games. So all of them, except for one, and he's averaging five and a half rebounds a game. So he's playing better than Blake Griffin, not a ton better, but he is playing better. And then if you look at LaMarcus Aldridge, he is up there in age. He's like 30. 
36, I want to say, 35, 34, 35, 30, I'm going to say 30, everyone lock in your votes, I'm going to say 35, he is 36, yes, he is 36 years old, and he's averaging 14 points a game in 19 games so far, he's only started two of them, and he's averaging 22 minutes a game, so yeah, 14 good points a game, he's playing very, very well, He's definitely the starter from now on. It's definitely going to be a starting lineup of this most likely is my guess. I would say James Harden, Patty Mills, um, Joe Harris, Kevin Durant, and LaMarcus Aldridge. That sounds like a pretty good lineup to me because I think that Patty Mills has been playing pretty well. Uh, all in all, this team is pretty good outside of Kyrie Irving not playing and Blake Griffin having a down year as well as Paul Millsap not doing much, but they are a pretty good team outside of that, and they sh should still make it pretty deep in the playoffs, but we will, we'll have to see how that all goes down because we've seen, like, for the Lakers, they've been struggling as well, um, and I don't know exactly how well the Nets are doing, like, roster-wise. I'll check that out as well, but, or I mean standings-wise, not roster-wise. I already know what their roster is pretty much, but standings-wise, I don't know exactly how well they are doing um i'll check that out okay yeah so they have the third best record in the league first best in the east only trailing the warriors and the suns in the nba so now getting over to patty mills he is averaging 12 and a half points a game he's played 20 games started six of them okay yeah so he's doing very very well this season 12 and a half points a game shooting 50 percent from three wow yeah he's having an amazing season he is 33 years old i thought he was older than that he's i guess still not too decently old and yeah you love to see that for sure shooting 91 percent from the free throw line dang patty mills is having a great season so i think the nets will be all right i think blake griffin is definitely on his last feet or his last foot or whatever you want to say he's He's not got much longer in the NBA, in my opinion, but we will have to see what happens there. Let me know what all of you guys think down in the comment section below, because I think this is the end of the road for Blake Griffin. But hey, you never know. He could have a bounce back. He was not an all-star for about four or five seasons. And then once he got to Detroit, he had a very good year and made it an all-NBA team even. So you never know. He's had bounce back seasons before. Last season was a bounce back season after he had not dunked since 2019, got to the Nets, had a great year, but um, I don't see that happening again. Probably the end of the road for him. Let me know what you guys think though in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn notification bells to all. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and bye my friends. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.